Hello, so today I'm going to work on writing a piece of music using Python with help from uh, uh, GitHub Copilot. Um, hopefully the computer will help me uh, write some really good music. Anyways, let's begin. So first of all, I have a script called playpiece.py. And what it does is that if you send it a, uh, if you provide the name of a file that has a tempo, a file name, and a function called render music that adds notes to a MIDI file. It will play some music for you and render the MIDI file with that file name. Let's see if this works. Uh, by the way, it does require some uh, installation of, of some of these uh, third-party libraries, MIDI file, Mido, um, and then also Python RT MIDI. You can uh, look at some of my earlier videos to get information about that. So if you do Python playpiece.py and then episode three, You get a note um, that's going on forever because I have the pedal up, but uh, there we go. So um, I'm going to write a pretty piece of music in E flat major. So what I'm going to do is have it give me a major scale. Boom. Uh, let's ignore the. Let's not repeat the top note, and you'll see why. Um, but I want E flat major. X plus three for X in major scale. Instead of X plus three, though, we're going to do X plus three. Uh, modulo 12 because I, I just want the notes of the E flat major scale um, as a number between 1 and 12 and if uh, that doesn't make sense you know um, 0 would be C uh, C sharp would be 1 um, E flat would of course be 3 and that's why we start with C a C major scale we add 3 and we have an E flat major scale I'm going to write a uh, met, uh, function. I'm going to write E flat notes, and what I want to do is have all of the notes um, that are, are in the uh, possible range of MIDI notes, and that's zero to one hundred and twenty. FX mod twelve in E flat major scale. So what that's going to do is give me all of the notes in E flat major. Um, so I'm going to do this, and let's see if I can just type Python episode 3, right, and so those are all the notes in E flat major, so you have C, D, E flat, F, G, etc. All right, so uh, first thing I'd like to do, I want to have a little, um, I want to be able to start on an E flat that makes sense. So this is like uh, E flat, this three right here is the lowest E flat below the piano. So, so I'm going to say lowest E flat is going to be three. And then lowest E flat index is equal to the index of the lowest E flat. There we go. And then we'll say base index is going to be lowest E flat index plus what should we say plus one so let's maybe see if e, uh, github will help us with this base index is lowest E flat plus three plus four octaves So that no, that doesn't really make sense. Oh wait, no, it does. So this length is one, two, three, four, seven. So what this is going to do is uh, we'll take the lowest E flat index and give us the um, a, a base E flat. Let me play an E flat for you, so you know uh, this is going to be E flat coming up. Mm, no, there we go. Uh, so let's see if we can play an E flat that sounds like that. So let mf dot add note E flat notes base index. That's what I want after one beat at a volume of a hundred. Okay, so that's going to be the lowest E flat I want to play, and you see it's the same note. Uh, go back if you don't hear that. All right. Good. So what I want to do is have a, uh, based off of this base index, I want to have a, a couple of roots uh, that will sort of define like the scale degrees of, of um, 
that that we're going to build our sort of harmonies on. So I'm just going to for now say roots and just come up with a few ar arbitrary ones. So f four is actually five. So let's say five, which is six, three, zero, four. That's going to be a, a famous chord progression. And I'd like to go ahead and just uh, out output that as, as a bunch of triplets. Triplet duration is going to be 1 divided by 3. So what we want specifically, we're going to have something called a dyad, which is going to cons uh, be, consist of two notes, root and then root plus we're going to say not seven, but four. One, two, three, four, five, or zero, one, two, three, f zero, one, two, three, four, five. Um, base index plus i in four i in dyad. And so let's just see what these sound like as as notes. And we're, we actually want to enumerate this. So it's going to be note. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like throwing me off right here. Sometimes uh, th this will happen. But anyways, for note in dyad, and we just want to play each of those notes. So with mf.addNote, let's actually um, give the type hinting there so that we can actually see the documentation for addNote, because uh, apparently we don't know. So we're going to just say note is going to be the pitch. Time is going to be I times 3. So we're going to have a 3-4 time. We're not going to do triplet duration. We're going to do 3. And then we're going to do a little softer here. 60. And we'll see if this creates uh, what we're hoping to. Have an extra parentheses. going on there so it so the diet the, the issue here is that dyads represent index indices and um, it's currently being used as as a um, as a straight up MIDI note so let's see if we'll get a better autocomplete right here Sometimes you just have to tell it what to do. Okay, uh, so I'm thinking this is going to give us a, an interesting chord progression in E flat. Excellent. So, you know, it's nice to have these these chords here. But what I'd really want want uh, for this to happen is going to be is to have just a, a, a lovely um, a lovely accompaniment here in triplets. And so, um, first thing I'm going to do, though, however, is uh, add a, a melody note, and that's going to be the third. And it's going to be an up an octave in MIDI notes um, 
we can add 12 instead of something like 7 because the, the E flat notes, the index third, is going to be the actual note of the scale. So adding 12 will just do an up an octave. Yeah, that didn't seem to work. What did I do incorrectly here? Oh, that's the issue. I have to do base index plus third. favorite chord progression we're making music here so uh next thing i'd like to do is actually to um fill this up with eighth note uh eighth note triplets so how would i do that so we're going to say time equals zero and then say, while well, time is less than three. Excellent. Dyad index equals zero. And so, and it will say time plus equals triplet duration. I think that's going to work for me. Okay, let's see what this is telling me to do. So we have E flat notes, dyad, dyad index. No. Oh, yeah, that's right, dyad index. Uh, we don't need to add 12. That's what we're doing for the other thing up there, but we do want it to be a, a, a lower octave. Let's do this before we forget. So that's just going to go 0, 1, 0, 1 at this time. If we had more things in our dyad, which we wouldn't because it wouldn't be a dyad at that point, and then wouldn't be working so well so i times three plus time time being the offset from i times three whatever and then triplet duration 60 let's see if this does what what we want it to okay it's it's a little little dull right now um a couple things are contributing to that. First of all, this tempo is very low. Let's give it a nice andante. And then also, when we uh, play these kind of pretty little things on the piano, we usually hit the pedal right at the beginning. So I'm going to add a method that will add uh, a pedal hit. Change pedal, we'll, we will call it. And we'll take the MIDI file as an argument and then the time let's see if we if we can figure out how it works so what we're wanting to do is at, at a given time raise the pedal and put it down so what it's saying right now is to put the pedal down and raise it three seconds later uh, th that that works a little bit but i'd rather do something like this so what that's going to do is, is one-tenth of a beat after the time put the pedal down. And so we're going to do it at each change in harmony. Um, and so a change in harmony here corresponds to the change in root. And so we'll just say change pedal MF I times 3. That's going to work, I think. However, uh, something's expecting an integer. Okay, so this, I bet you, has to do with... Um, arguments not being correct so we need to track excellent channel excellent time comes first then the controller number and parameter so all this involves is doing this getting rid of that time plus 0 0.1 boom that should be that should do it oh and then we can't, we also need to get rid of this. Great. Um, 
And sadly, sadly, the piece ends uh, a bit too early. So what I'm going to do is uh, uh, extend it a bit. So we're going to call this, uh, rend instead of render music, we're call this render phrase. And under, uh, we'll actually do have that render music, and we'll, we'll just do render phrase with the same argument, and that's going to be basically the same thing. But instead of just doing this once, we want to do this several times. So what we need to do is to give this information about the measure offset, or the, um, let's call it N offset. And that means we need a time offset corresponding to this n offset. And so it's not going to be just n offset times 3. So that would mean uh, if we're in 3, 4 time, that's going to be uh, one measure. So I'm going to do times 4. And um, I need to remember where the time is, which parameter of time that is. So that's going to be time offset. Good. So for i in range 4, we're going to do be render phrase, and then n offset. Now we don't need to actually call n offset, we'll just call it with i. And let's see if we uh, get more than one, one uh, phrase. Ah. So... I have this time offset, but it's only applying to that melody note. So what I want, what I also need to do is to add time offset to the accompaniment notes as well. Also need to add it to change pedal. Um, so let's see. One thing I want to look into. I like how I, I would be interested in actually getting this diet index out, so that it only resets uh, when we call the next phrase, rather than every time. So that's a little better um, in, in my mind. It, it is a little bit more interesting. Let's keep the volume there. Let's turn this volume down a little bit. That's going to give it a, a bit more romance. Um, and actually, I want to do this. We're going to do something right here. Eighth note duration. Uh, eighth. Screw it. E I G T H T. Ugh. Eighth duration. All right. We're going to do the same thing here. While time is less than three. Probably should ab abstract this out to another method, but I'm not going to do that for today. So I want to add the eighth duration. Okay, time plus equals eighth duration. I times three plus ta time, right? So it's going to be the same thing as that, but it's going to be 8th duration. Perfect. Let's see if that com comes up with that. All right, instant music, pretty much. What makes that nice is, uh, what makes this whole setup nice now is that um, I can easily actually uh, add uh, more chords to make this more of a, a, a form. So I'm going to do three, four, five, and then two. 
I, so it's two, three, four, five going over and over again. And when we render music, um, no, we're not going to add tempo there. But anyways, for I in range eight. Render phrase, and it's not I. Render phrase. Oh, okay. So I want to I want to provide um, some roots to this render phrase uh, method. So as of now, we don't have that option. But if we add this method roots, it's gonna instead of using this upper root, uh, this uh, outer roots, and this outer scope, it's actually gonna be using the roots provided to it as a method. However. Now we need to actually provide that. So render phrase and I modulo two. I don't like saying I modulo two because it's going to tie us down to only two. So if we do I modulo roots, we could provide as many things as we as many chord progressions as we want. That's neat, but um, the, what what uh, obliterates the sense of form there is that um, what obliterates the sense of form is that we don't have any repetition there. So it's just we're going through that once, and it's just going to be a repetition of that. So I want to repeat that this first phrase here five three zero oh, four, and then repeat three four five two. So that's, you know, that's getting to sound like something. It's uh, not very expressive, however, because of the way that, the, the way that it's dot, 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 dot. It's the, the same kind of volume over and over again. Uh, there's a number, a number of, of things we can do to mitigate that. Uh, for example, we can uh, just make 60 right here to be uh, some kind of random range. So it sounds like uh, there's a little bit of human, uh, humaniz humanizing. Um, I'm instead going to, okay, so map time zero to three to velocities, velocity, let's see if uh, we can figure if this will 60 to 40, let's see if, if, if you'll, if, if they'll uh, figure it out, vel equals. I think that'll do it. I think it just did the math for me. Let's see if I, I don't really care if it works or not. It just does as long as I get the effect. Ah, but the issue is, is that's going to create an, um, a floating point with that calculation, that time divided by three. Stylistically correct. Let's try it one more time. Okay, so just to add a little more interest. Um, I'm going to add octaves to this, and we're going to say that I is um, greater than three. We'll have this octave, 
and then we'll just like if octave that I th think will I think it should be 36 not 24 but that might be a nice sound swing it a little bit and here's the answer to your pop quiz I think that's really nice okay so uh, as always I'm gonna play this uh, ill-fated result um, maybe with a slideshow I, 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 I don't know I think I'll just have a picture of a chicken an AI picture of a chicken, and then I'll play the song for you. Um, I guess better luck next time, huh? Thanks. Bye.